my name is Luca, and I work mostly on translating Ethereum.org. We'll be talking about translations today and the importance of translating content into different languages to make it more accessible. So, um, English is the most widely spoken language in the world if we account for native and non-native speakers. It's also by far the most learned language in the world as a second language. And finally, English is the language of the internet. So why are translations even important? Let's start off with some basics that I'm sure many of you are already familiar with, but are worth repeating um, when talking about the importance of translating content. First of all, over 6 billion people in the world do not speak English at all. This means that if your product or content is only available in English, you are essentially <clears throat> reducing your potential audience and customer base by over 6 billion people. And secondly, people who um, learn in their native language tend to learn more, perform better on tests, enjoy the experience more, and are less likely to drop out. Um, these are some of the basics that are related to learning, but it applies to other aspects as well. Next up, let's take a look at some consumer statistics. The number of statistics and studies that show the importance of translating content is significant, and I've only picked a, a handful to highlight. So, number one, 75% of consumers are more likely to buy products from websites in their native language. This is from a 2014 behavioral study by CSA Research. Number two, around 40% of internet users said that they will never buy from websites that are not in their native language. And number three, 65% of non-native English speakers prefer content in their native language, even though they are highly proficient in English. Both of these stats are also from a study by CSA Research. And finally, translating your website for the following four countries is estimated to give you f access to around 50% of worldwide sa sales potential. Uh, so the United States, China, Japan, and Germany. Um, these are some consumer statistics for anyone out there who is providing services or running a project or a Web3 platform. I don't think we need to dive deeper into them since they should speak for themselves. Next up, let's take a look at some business statistics. So businesses that invested in translation were one and a half times more likely to observe an increase in revenue. This is from a survey by Common Sense Advisory on Fortune 500 companies. Number two, Fortune 500 companies were reported to be 2.04 times more likely to improve profits when they invested in translation, and 1.27 times more likely to generate more earnings per share. This is from the same survey on Fortune 500 companies. And number three, 86% of localized mobile advertisements performed better than their English counterparts, uh, showing a 42% and 22% increase in conversion and click-through rates, respectively. This was a study by Adotas on the importance of language localization in mobile ads. If you want to learn more about all of this, there is a very insightful blog post called 2022 Translation Industry Trends and Stats that dives deeper into this and much more by Rudokun. And that being said, I think translations in the Web3 space are even more important. Um, as we're still so early and trying to onboard as many people as possible, as well as provide educational content for everyone. Translating content is a very straightforward way to reach more people, ex extend our target audience, and help everyone from all over the world learn more about the space. And to bring this point closer to home for a lot of us, I also wanted to mention that the number of non-English page views on ethereum.org currently represents almost 20% of all page views on the website and hits a record high almost every month. 
to us, that is a clear indication that people want to read content in their native language. We are committed to pushing localization forward and pro um, providing the content on the website in as many languages as possible, as well as helping other projects translate their content. We have created a translation program playbook that should cover all the steps and considerations that Web3 projects should take when setting up their own translation efforts. You can find it on the website. Um, and if anyone wants to talk more about translations, uh, wants to set up their own translation program, is looking for any help, would like to use some of our resources, or collaborate with us in any way, we would love to talk to you. Um, you can reach out to us via this email, so translations at ethereum.org. You can join our Discord um, or come up to me after this talk. Happy to talk more about translations at any time. Thanks, everyone.